Good morning guys and welcome back to another what I eat in a day. Um, I'm just getting going and I'm gonna make a coffee. So let's go. So I'm just starting my day off with a cup of coffee. Um, I am using these Maxwell House Dark Roast. I tried the decaf, they're really good. And so I thought I'd try the ones that are caffeinated. So I'll just get that going. And of course, I'm going to get water as well. So this is a one liter mason jar. I fill this up uh, with my first coffee of the day and then I fill it up again, usually around lunchtime. I'm trying to get the two liters in plus whatever else I drink during the day. So I'm just doing the three tablespoons of the Southern Butter Pecan. That is my go-to and it's so good. Coffee number two. <laughs> So I'm just doing the same thing. Uh, I'm just showing you though that I did have a second coffee today. It was beautiful and sunny earlier and now it looks like it's nighttime. <laughs> but just doing the same thing, the three tablespoons of the but Southern Butter Pecan. Um, this coffee cup is so cute. It's a Eeyore, not today. <laughs> He's so cute. I actually bought it for my sister. She uses it every time she comes. Uh, yeah, so this is coffee number two. And then I'll probably have a late breakfast. Here we go. I've got um, some sausages and the Cavendish hash brown waffles going in there. I'm going to cook my eggs. Um, I had some comments uh, on my Instagram actually about how perfect my eggs looked and I'm just going to show you how I make them. I'm actually doing them in two separate pans here. Um, I give them a light spray, put the eggs in, I put them on like a medium heat and then once they start getting to this stage uh, where it's still like wet egg whites but they're starting to like cook on the bottom then I put some water and then I put the lid on and it steams them basically. Um, this is called a basted egg, it's my favorite way to cook them. And then you don't get a crispy bottom. This one got a little crispy because my element is a bit hot. But I'll show you here. You still get the jiggly, like the nice soft yolk. So I have three of the, I don't remember the brand, but there are three turkey sausages. I've got the two hash brown waffles underneath my eggs and two eggs with ketchup. That is my breakfast. So I'm just having uh, some lunch. I have a whole wheat bagel toasted with uh, margarine, two slices of Kraft Singles, and then tomato, salt, and pepper on top. Super simple, super easy, and delicious. So it's about 4.30 and I'm hungry, so I'm having a salad. Um, I've got two cups of romaine. I've got a diced tomato. I've got croutons and bacon bits. Caesar dressing and black pepper. Uh, I find this really helps me, tides me over until dinner, um, especially because we eat later, like 7.38. So there's my salad. And now for dinner. We are doing pork chops tonight for dinner and I got these on sale. They're in my grocery haul this week. On, I posted on Monday. So I cook them like I cook steaks. So I don't put fat in the pan because there's already fat on these. Um, I top them with this adobe seasoning. I like pork chops with this, this is so good. And I don't season until I put it in the pan. You can put as much or as little as you like. I really like this, so I put it on there. And then I flip them a couple times, so it just helps them to cook evenly. You can see some of this is still white and some of it is crispy. With the bone on, it doesn't lay as flat as without the bone in. I just maneuver them around in the pan and then I season the other side once I flip them and I only season the like once on each side. But you'll see when I flip again, you start to get the color that you want. Um, lots of flavor, nice and crispy. And I hold them down in spots that I know that they're not sitting properly because of the bone. Like right here, this bone keeps getting in the way and the side isn't getting there. So I just lift it up. And that is pork chops. So then I've got the rice almost done here. So I'm having this pork chop here is about five ounces. Um, and then I pair it with a cup of unsweetened applesauce. 
as the gravy, <laughs> two thirds of a cup of rice and soy sauce, and that is dinner. This will be all I eat today, so this is my last meal. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.